Hello everyone, welcome to a new weekly vlog. Today is Friday the 10th of November and I'm working from home because this morning we had to get some tradies in to look at a water main leak which we have, which is very inconvenient. Um, thinking positively, it is on our driveway, so it could be worse, it could be in the house, um, and at least we still also have water, so I'm trying to think about it in those terms. Um, but it looks like it is going to be a bit of an annoying job to fix because we're going to have to rip up the concrete on our driveway to find exactly where the leak is and then fix the leak and then re-concrete a part of the driveway. Um, so I'll keep you updated on that. On a completely different but rather exciting note, uh, last night I was on Instagram and a Wellington wedding dress designer that I really like and she seems to have designs similar to what I think that I want to wear on my wedding day. Uh, she posted a photo that they were having a like sample sale or a trunk sale and I was talking to my mum about it and I mentioned that I really wanted to go and then within the space of like a few hours her and my dad have decided that they are going to spontaneously make a trip down to Wellington purely so that we can go to the sample sale. My bridesmaids live in either London or Australia and even my parents live like six hours drive away so I didn't feel like there was anyone that could come with me to this apart from Nick and obviously he's not really supposed to see the dress so I didn't want to take him um, and I just mentioned it to my mum like oh wouldn't this be cool if we could do that but I didn't expect anything to happen so the fact that they would be willing to drive all of that way to come with me to a half hour appointment really means a lot so mum and dad if you're watching even though I'll see you tomorrow and I'll say this in person thank you very much for being such amazing parents so the leak is happening way up there where the boys are and as you can see it's come all the way down our driveway and then onto the steps and it's leaking down the tiles which go to the deck and then it's also making this big pool here because it's kind of like going down the bank. It looks like though that the boys are going to be able to fix it themselves so that was Nick and my friend Matt who you've seen in these vlogs because he was doing other builder stuff for us so here's hoping we can do it ourselves and that saves us a bit of money because the quote that the plumber gave us uh, was quite expensive. In other exciting news, my parents are on their way down. They left home at like 5am which is ridiculous. Uh, so they're going to be here, what's the time right now, in like an hour and a half which is cool. Um, and my appointment this afternoon at the bridal place is at 3.30 so I'm not going to bother to put any makeup on um, because I think I would like die of embarrassment if I got some foundation or something on one of the dresses. Alright, so dug this massive hole. Let me try and zoom in if you can see. That is a little bugger that is causing us all of this trouble. So I'm pretty sure the last time that I spoke to you guys was on Saturday and I was probably either talking about the fact that our water pipe uh, was broken and it was leaking or that I was going to go and try on wedding dresses. Um, updates on both of them, uh, Nick, my dad and my friend Matt managed to fix the water pipe so that it's no longer leaking which is awesome and I bought a wedding dress so happy days all around. Um, now it is the next Thursday and I'm in Auckland. I have a work event tomorrow morning starting very super early. I think I have a taxi picking me up from this hotel to take me to the event at 4.30 in the morning so I'm going to have to get up hella early. Right now it has just gone 7.30 and I'm going to go and get some dinner with some of the people that I'm doing the event with tomorrow and then I think I'm probably just going to come back and go to sleep seeing as I'm going to have a super early start. such a long day already because I've already been up for like seven hours. Um, I don't know if I completely explained what I was doing this morning though. Um, you might have been able to gather but my company along with some other companies were trying to break a world record uh, for the highest catch of a rugby ball. At the moment it sits at 102 meters so the guys that were uh, catching the ball had it set at 103 roundabout meters. Um, unfortunately we didn't able to break the record but it was still a really fun day. I got to 
go up in the helicopter and hand the guy that was chucking the balls out, the rugby balls, um, out the window. So that was cool. And then I got to fly back from um, Parakai, the airfield where we were doing the record break attempt, uh, back to the base. So that was really cool. I've never been in a helicopter before, really liked it. The plan for me now is to have a bit of a nap. Um, I need to check out at 12 and then I also have to go and do some more errands for work um, quite near the airport by 12 as well. Um, and then my flight is at 1 so after that I'll just head to the airport, head back to Wellington and then head into work. Probably won't stay until the end of the day because I feel like I might not make it. Um, but yeah, these are the types of things that make my already cool job like even more cooler. So today is Saturday and what you're probably watching right now is me going for a walk up Mount Kaukau this morning and seeing some beautiful views of Wellington. This time I did not have a bag of kiwi fruit on my back which made things a lot easier. Um, I'll leave the vlog that explains that joke up above. Nick and I are now about to leave to go to a BYO for some of his workmates but I didn't feel like drinking wine tonight so I've done a little bit of a sneaky concoction. So in this bottle, although it looks like wine, it's actually gin tonic and then a bit of some lime cordial stuff uh, which looks like this just to give it that like winey green colour. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to take my camera because I don't really feel like it, so I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Here. So I'm pretty sure the last time I spoke to you guys was actually last Saturday. Hello kitty. Uh, when we were going out to the BYO, which was all good. It was just a really late night. We didn't end up eating uh, until like 10 o'clock, which is normally my bedtime. So even though I'd had a nap and a Red Bull, I was pretty tired the next day. Um, but yeah, this week at work has just been pretty busy. We're getting ready for Christmas and our Christmas campaigns and stuff. So it's been, as I said, a really busy week and I just have forgotten to vlog. So today is Saturday the 25th. So we have one month till Christmas, which is exciting. Um, this morning I had a driving lesson with a different instructor. So I've had two professional driving lessons with two different companies because one had really limited availability. Um, and yeah, I think it went all right. I thought that I was actually going pretty terrible but when we got back he said that I was actually doing pretty good and I learned to do some new things today like parallel parking and stuff so that's good I've scheduled in a few more lessons and hopefully they go well. Now Nick and I are actually about to go for a walk because uh, we've had a bit of a lazy like mid-afternoon um, but I do want to get my step count up. Okay we're back from our walk it was only a quick one I think it was like half an hour but hey we got up there we did some exercise uh, now it is just gone 5.40 and I'm going to start making dinner because I'm not sure how long it takes to cook and I've gotten into the habit of eating early so that I don't go to bed super full and that seems to be helping with like my exercise and my healthy eating and stuff as well. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm using my Deliciously Ella Everyday Cookbook and I'm going to be making a variation of this pea and cauliflower bowl. Um, I say variation because this one has asparagus in it and I don't really like asparagus but I'm just going to substitute that out. Maybe put some beans in there as well as the peas. I am also going to end this video here because if you're watching it on the day that it goes up, which is the 26th, then that is tomorrow for me. And I have a lot of editing to do because I think this video has been like three weeks, I think. If I think about like the first weekend we were looking at wedding dresses and then the second weekend I just got back from Auckland and now it's today. Um, so yeah, it's kind of started off exciting, got more exciting and then it's kind of like toned down a bit. But that's life, isn't it? Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys have been doing this week or for the last three weeks in the comments down below. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I will see you all next week for a book video. Bye!